Parsub is a visual web scraping tool that you can use to grab data from a website without needing to learn how to code. All you need to do is simply click on the data you need to extract. Today, I'll be showing you how to use Parsub to scrape data from a directory, but the steps from this project should be applicable to many different websites. First, open up Parsub and click on the New Project button from the dashboard. Enter the URL of the website you'd like to scrape. The directory that I'll be using for the project today is Yelp. Once the URL is entered, click on Start Project on this URL. Once the page loads, you'll see three sections in the Parsub window. Your command structure to the left, the interactive view of the website, and a data preview section where you can see how your data will look before you run your project. The first thing we're going to do is select the restaurant names to extract them. There's already an empty select command on this template by default, so we can now click on the name of the first restaurant to select it. You'll notice that the restaurant's name is now highlighted in green, while similar elements are highlighted in yellow. Click on one of these yellow highlights and then keep clicking on restaurant names until Parsub selects all of them. Rename your select command to restaurant by double clicking on it. If we want to pick up the phone number that appears next to each restaurant, we can do that with the relative select command. Click on the plus sign next to select restaurant and choose the relative select command. Click on an orange highlight around one of the restaurant's names and an arrow should appear. Use this arrow to click on and select the restaurant's phone number. Keep doing this until the phone numbers for all of the restaurants are selected. If you want to use the relative select command to select something else on that page, the number of reviews for example, add a new relative select command by clicking on the plus sign next to select restaurant. Again, I'm going to rename my relative select command by double clicking on it. We want results from all pages and not just the first one, so we're going to add pagination to our project. To do this, click on the plus sign next to select page and choose a select command. At the bottom of the page, click on the button that says next. Rename this command to next and then click on the plus sign next to it and add a click command. When asked if this is a next page button, choose yes and repeat the current template. With this set up, Parsub will be able to click on the next page button once it finishes scraping a results page. Now, we want to click into the details page for each restaurant and scrape additional data. To do this, click on the plus sign next to select restaurant and add a click command. This is not a next page button, so choose no and create a new template. I will rename this template to restaurant details. We can start picking up information on this page now. First, I will click on the restaurant details template to open it. Now, I will click on the website link on this page to extract it. If we want to pick up another piece of information, like the address, I can click on the plus sign next to select page and add another select command. To run this project and get your data, click on the green Get Data button and then click on the Run button. 
This will run your project on our servers, and you can download your data from this page once your run is completed and these buttons turn green. This video shows you how to extract data from a website without having any coding experience. If you have any questions about Parsub, feel free to email hello at parsub.com. We're happy to help.